How you do one thing is how you do everything. You know, I'm not sure who said that quote, but it really resonates with me as a life coach and a health coach. And the reason for that is because I really find that there is a connection with self-care and your external world. And you know, it's funny, I was making my bed this morning and I was contemplating this whole thing. And I was thinking about how sometimes I give my husband a really hard time because, well, I don't give him too hard of a time, but he makes the bed. And so the outer comforter looks perfectly fine, straight, perfect, great. But underneath the sheet and the blanket are just a mess. And there is a difference in that level of effort that he's putting in. He's not doing a super thorough job. And so it reminds me of how you do one thing is how you do everything. So what areas of your life are inconsistent with your values and your goals? I'm Stacey Portugal and I help over 40 women lose the weight and gain confidence and gain control over their cravings. And this week um, is the last week to register for Manage Your Mindset. It's on Monday and Tuesday evening at 7.30. It's two 45-minute phone calls. And we're going to be diving into a topic just like this one. So how are, how is, you know, how you do one thing, how is it how you do everything? So let me give you a little deeper example and we're gonna dive a little further in and you'll get a little bit of a peek of manage your mindset. So there's your external world and your internal world and our thought processes are the questions we ask ourselves, the decisions we make, those internal processes are the result of our external world. So the result of our actions and the actual results that we get. And here are a few examples. So let's say that um, you're, you know, you, you have excess clutter in your home. And I would have to say, well, if you have excess clutter in your home, I would want to trace it back to what's going on in your mind. Are you clear and focused in your mind? Are you able to set goals and get to them? And if not, what stands in the way? What is your mindset? What is your thought process like that's preventing you from being clear in the mind and clear in your external world? So let's say another example is you find yourself um, excessively shopping. And maybe you're doing something you really can't afford. And, and even if you're not, maybe it's, there, there's some level of guilt about the amount of maybe clothes that you're buying. So I would say, well, wait a second. How does that decision of buying these clothes, how is that in line with your values and your goals? And let's back it up even further and see what's your mindset like when you're shopping? What's leading you to that store? One other example is your external world. You find yourself buying all the latest health foods. You know, you're stocking up on avocados and you're, you know, buying all the protein shakes and all these health fads, you know, chia pudding and all this kind of stuff, but you're really not getting to your goal, to your health goal or your weight loss goal. And I would want to back that up and say, well, wait a second. If this is your goal and these are your actions, what's going on internally? What kind of thought process is going on inside of your head? What kind of questions are you asking yourself? And how can we change those questions and change that thought process so that you are getting the results that you deserve? Um, now, your internal process, and typically that's where it may all begin, 
um, your internal process might look something like this. Maybe there's a lot of negative self-talk and because of the negative self-talk, you're really having a hard time staying focused on your wellness goals because you're just too busy cutting yourself down. You know, maybe you're looking at other women and admiring the way that they look and your head is in that space and not really in that space of, well, how can I do a little more today to move myself toward my goals? How can I get some activity in my day? Is this the way I want to feel right now when I look at other women? Do I want to be admiring them or do I want to be focused on myself and my goals so maybe other women will admire me? Another example of some internal thought process uh, thought process are, you know, maybe you just have, you're saying yes to like every project. You're saying yes to every little thing in your life and you kind of forgot the word no. And what's going on there? You know, you're, you're saying yes to too many things and the internal process might be that you're afraid to say no. You know, maybe you're just not asking yourself, hey, what do I need for myself? Can I do this project? Is that doable for me? What would happen if I said no to my boss? What would happen if I didn't take that spot on the PTA board? What do I need right now? One other example of an internal process is your interactions with people. Maybe your sister or your sister-in-law, you kind of have a little tension in that relationship or you find that at certain times when you speak, things get a little tense or even a little competitive. You might want to ask yourself, well, if that's the result, what's going on internally that gave me that external result of tension when I'm talking to somebody I love? So... Our mindset has a lot to do. That's the internal force that determines what our external world is going to be like. And it's really important to ask yourself these questions to get a handle on your own mindset and how that might be affecting your ability to get to your weight loss goals or to achieve goals at work, or to simply unclutter your world. So I hope you're going to join us on Monday and Tuesday evening. This is a really inexpensive way to um, experience life coaching and to also get a little bit more in touch with what you're thinking about and is your internal process, is that congruent with what's going on on the external to the results that you're getting, whether it's in relationships, at work, in health or weight loss goals. It's going to be a really cool workshop. So I hope to see all of you in Manage Your Mindset. If you're interested and you'd like me to save you a spot, we do have limited spots available. If you would like for me to save you a spot, just go ahead and email me or comment on this post. You can email me at stacy at stacyportugal.com and I'll write it in the post right after I'm done here. So I will see you all in the next video and I hope to see many of you inside Manage Your Mindset on Monday evening beginning at 7.30 p.m. Central. I'll see you in the next video.